taking on the act from St. Vincent St. McCree. Fighting Irish. As you can hear, uh, everybody here from the Fireland side of things is really pumped up for this game. We're down here to see superstar LeBron James taking on your boys. And uh, we're going to do a little interview with a couple of the fans. All right, um, this is Andrew Aluki here for WGCC here with uh, a couple of Firelands fans and uh, Mr. Novak. Yeah. What do you want to see here tonight on WGCC? Well, hopefully I see some good basketball. I mean, LeBron James, Ron Higgins, it's all here, so that's what I want to see. And uh, let's pull another fan out here. Uh, obviously, Matt Volk has a lot of excitement about uh, LeBron James. Also, we have our own uh, star player, Ron Higgins. What do you think is going to happen here tonight? Well, uh, it's going to be a good game between both. Even though uh, LeBron may have better hops than Ron, Ron will be able to step in there, maybe uh, hopefully block a couple shots, and uh, hopefully we'll put on a showing out here. All right, uh, obviously a riled up crowd here for an exciting matchup tonight, and that's uh, we'll be back a little bit later with the game on WGCC Channel 12. Welcome to WGCC Channel 12. As always, I'm Paul Nixon, my colleague Andy Holowicki joining me tonight here in the press booth. Hello out there to everyone, and uh, tonight we're bringing you a game. Uh, as you can hear the PA system say, the Fireland's Falcons and St. Vincent St. Mary High School. Obviously an electricity going through that we haven't seen ever at Firelands, and I uh, want you to elaborate on that, Paul. Well, it's tournament time here in uh, Northeast Ohio, and we're here at Barberton. It's a uh, high school in Akron. Firelands taking on, as Andy said before, St. Vincent St. Mary fighting Irish. Tonight's action brought to you by Deichler Tire Center. Deichler Tires bringing you all your automotive needs since 1953. Deichler Tire just east of Baumhart Road on 113 in South Amherst. We're going to get set here for the national anthem coming up, and right after that, we're going to uh, bring in the, the starters rather for both teams. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a great country with friends like no other. At this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps. We invite you to sing along as we honor America and all those who defend our freedom with our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. back now uh, getting ready for the starting lineups for both teams first up for the st vincent st mary fighting irish number two a six foot five inch senior guard siku lewis number five a five foot ten inch senior guard chad mraz number 12 a five foot nine inch junior guard Drew choice number 24 a six foot six inch junior forward Romeo Travis and the big superstar for St. Vincent St. Mary number 23 a six foot seven inch guard junior superstar LeBron James 
Akron St. Vincent St. Mary coached by Drew Joyce and assisted by Lee Cotton, Steve Colt, and Michael Snowbarger. Starting lineups for Firelands as usual, number 12, a 5 foot 11 inch junior guard, Jared Bourne. At the other guard, a 6 foot junior, number 23, Brent Pycraft. At one forward, a 6 foot 4 inch senior, number 30, Matt Hassel. At the other forward, a six foot five inch junior, number 32, Jacob Alfirio, and the big man in the middle, six foot seven inch junior, number 34, Ron Higgins. Firelands coached by Steve Lyons, assisted by Charlie Gosnell, Mark Hirsch, and Bill Dodd. Wow, and uh, you can hear the excitement in the crowd up. Pop more. We've never seen anything like it here. Firelands all started on Monday with a victory over Highland. Now on Tuesday, tickets went on sale, and I, I was there as I'm trying to get over this uh, crowd noise. I was there as the Falcons sold about a thousand tickets in less than two hours. Fans were turned away, and they weren't happy about it. There's been stories of uh, ticket scalpings going on. This is the hottest ticket in town as LeBron James gets introduced and goes to center court. Everybody going nuts as uh, the big man gets introduced here. And he towers over Coach Elias. <laughs> as you were saying before, Andy, on uh, Monday night, as February the 25th, Firelands had that big win over Highland in the first round, 75 to 61. Six six really, uh, Falcons that obviously have the odds stayed against them here in uh, what some are calling could be the biggest upset in basketball history. Uh, the Falcons don't look at it that way, though. Uh, they don't go anywhere unprepared to play. I've talked to some of the players during the week. Obviously, they're excited about the opportunity to play here in the tournament against uh, LeBron James and the rest of the St. Vincent St. Mary's squad. But they're not going to back down from them. Well, it's definitely the biggest game in uh, Firelands High School history. LeBron James, for the past uh, two years, after St. Vincent St. Mary has been the uh, Division Three state champions. This year, they moved up to Division Two, which actually gives Firelands the opportunity to play them in this Barberton tournament. He's and been world-renowned as the uh, high school player of the year. That's right. Uh, recently been on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And uh, really quite an exciting thing for the little Firelands community to have someone something exciting as this. And uh, interesting to see here in the crowd. It seems like we got a bigger fan base here. Nice turnout. It's nice to see the community supporting their team. And uh, hopefully they can give them something to cheer about. It's good to see everybody who wanted to get tickets was able to get tickets to come down here to Akron to watch this basketball game. Tonight's ball game brought to you by Deichler Tire. Serving the community since 1953. Deichler Tire, just east of Baumhart Road on 113 in South Amherst. Telephone number 986-9701. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30, and Saturday, 8 to 1. Stop in, like we said before, for all your automotive needs. Deichler Tire. And uh, taking a look at the leading scorers this season, as reported by the coaches, LeBron James averaging 29.1, not too far behind him. From Firelands, Ron Higgins averaging 21.6 points a game. The leading assist, or assist players, Jacob Alfirio leading in assists above LeBron James, both averaging 6.1 a game. And a uh, tip off about to go underway. Looks like it's going to be uh, Ron Higgins. I guess it's LeBron James. <laughs> I guess we'll so. See. <laughs> well, I swear, I mean, I'm excited up here. I'm supposed to be a professional, but. Uh, this is exciting to announce here, exciting to bring to you on what could be the most watched uh, program ever on WGCC Channel 12 on <laughs> Wellington. How could you not be excited for a game like this? And there goes the buzzer. We're about to be underway here. Everybody meeting there at center court, getting ready for the tip off. And it'll be James and Higgins. Wow, what must Ron Higgins be thinking right now? <laughs> I, I seen uh, LeBron James come out of the locker room and I almost wet myself. Uh, he's an intimidating <laughs> personality, to say the least. We really hope the uh, Firelands players don't spend too much time here in this first period in awe of LeBron James. And James wins the tip off. Joyce swings it over to Mraz. 
Firelands in a 1-3-1 one, one zone defense. Mraz pulling on the three, no good. No good. Rebound inside, James off the glass, puts it in. And here's that press that we read about all week in the papers. See what Firelands could do. So they're having a little bit of trouble looking to get that ball over court. There's Alferio. Alferio puts it up, no good. Fast no break opportunity. Brian James. Mraz oh. fires another three from the corner. I just love the way that LeBron James carries himself on the court as he tries to poke it away from Bourne. I suppose we're going to see some things we haven't seen all season in this game. Bourne will inbound. There's backcourt pressure once again from the Irish. They haven't seen a press like this all year with the athleticism, but moving pretty decent so far. Hassel inside, puts it up, no good, almost in. 2-0, St. Vincent lead, LeBron James with the ball in the corner. Falcons obviously having to play his own defense in the 2-3 right now. Lewis, no good. Lewis' three-point attempt off the back of the rim, no good. See what they're gonna try and do, it's a stolen away. It's gonna be a breakaway layup. Mraz the length of the floor off the glass, putting after St. Vincent St. Mary up 4 nothing here with about six and a half left in the first period. Over. Open shot for Pycraft. Rejected by Lestrade James. Not even seen a rejection like that since last year's prom. I think that was 10 rows up. I think the ref had to go track it down out of the locker room. Oh, look at how Ferio he's smiling. Really, yeah. if you're the Falcons here, something happens like that. You really can't be too uh, too depressed that it happened. Nearly a steal out top. No shame in being swatted by LeBron James. Higgins, Higgins with inside. the ball. Pass it back out. Born up for three. Front of, front of the rim, LeBron James dribbling it up. Hip hop crack crack gets the charge. We attempted the half court oop. <laughs> James looking for Romeo Travis, and Brent Pycraft was standing underneath the basket and took the charge. Travis couldn't believe it. And uh, Brent Pycraft gets another whopper on the season. <laughs> Trying to beat the press. Fireland's fast break opportunity. Hassel inside. Hassel. Blocked by James. Uh, doing a better than expected with the press so far. Uh, turning over once, but... They should be able to get some open shots if they continue to get up there a little bit quicker. Um, I was a little bit uh, nervous and attentive to put the ball up. I think the key here really is to try to not be intimidated by uh, Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's size and their um, really their stature here in the basketball and world. And really, uh, you got to keep shooting. Uh, you're going to get swatted. Um, they're going to get their blocks in. It's, uh, Brian Higgins is going to get to the line. And really, uh, you, Falcons down by four here in the first quarter. A lot of people said it'd be a lot worse. Um, Higgins looking to cut this lead in half. So he shoots it, and it's good. Higgins hitting the first free throw. We've seen that touch all year from the big man. It's really the... Nobody believes in the Falcons except for themselves, and uh, they got to come out here and play hard. It's the second one rims out. I believe that's Travis with the rebound. Siku Lewis up top. Trying to get it inside to James. Romeo Travis, no good rebound. Jacob Alfirio, double team. Trying to got get the board. Falcons got the numbers. To try and trap him in the corner, throws it over to Alfario in the hassle. Pie Pie crap is open. Higgins, Higgins puts it up. up. No good. Born Born inside rebound. Ball inside. Gives it to Higgins. Gives it to Higgins. Off the glass. It's Got good. <laughs> Falcons down by one, four to three. St. Vincent, St. Mary lead. Alley oop for uh, James. No good. And the Falcons have a chance to grab the lead. Here comes Alfirio. 
Swung it all the way across the court to Bourne. Higgins lost it. Romeo Travis on the pickup. Now gives it to Mraz. Got to get push. back on defense. They're going to push it. Irish going to look for Almost every taken opportunity Almost take away LeBron here. James. Ooh, thought he was going to pull Passes up for on three. three. Hounded by Alfirio in the corner. We saw LeBron James sink three after three earlier in the warm-ups. Higgins, Higgins with a rejection. Well, he swatted Romeo Travis underneath the basket, but Travis uh, Hustle got his own rebound and put it back off the glass for two. That's going to be a turnover. James passed on another three. Irish really working the ball around good tonight. Travis inside again off the glass on Higgins. Opens up a five-point lead for the Fighting Irish. Here's the press. They're really putting it on now. He's had no, nothing to do but throw it up. Hassel going to try and... Really on nothing the Falcons can do there. In the ball game for the Irish number 32, number 34 rather, Sean Cotton. Six foot three inch junior. Almost a big thing uh, so far here for Firelands to have LeBron James scoreless. Um, actually, LeBron James has two points off an offensive board. It's the first point for us. Oh, that's true. Player. The excitement, it's hard to, I forgot to even keep stats for the first couple of minutes. <laughs> and they got to find a way to beat this press the last two times with turnovers, which resulted in easy points for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Got to make quick passes, the traps there. Higgins is going to try and push it over the board, and they're going to call a shuffle. Higgins took an extra step with a basketball. Try to get it to Bourne to break that press. It'll go the other way. Five-point deficit early on. Eight to three, St. Vincent St. Mary's lead here on WGCC Channel 12. Manager Hollow, good, my colleague Paul Nixon. Up to LeBron James, and again, they missed the oop. Drew Joyce tried to toss it up above the basket. James looking to put it down. Couldn't find the handle. And I get the Fire feeling the that St. Vincent really not taking us that seriously right now. With uh, Obviously, you could do that when you got that kind of talent. James to run the floor now. He has the board. Fouled by Alfirio. Shot no good, but he'll be heading to the free throw line for two. <laughs> Haven't seen too many 6-7 guards this year. No good on the first one. Number three, Corey Jones checking in for the Irish. Six-foot sophomore. James not open up a six-point lead and does. Three points for LeBron James. He also has two blocks and two rebounds according to the unofficial stats kept up here by myself. Born in Alfirio. Again trapped in the corner. And uh, they're gonna have to try something else or it's gonna get ugly here. It uh, does look like the key to that uh, St. Vincent St. Mary press is that. Getting them in the corner. Better grab it. Hassel got it. Now Over born. the Borno. Hassel puts it in, doesn't get the bounce. Irish looking to push. <laughs> Blows by him. Corey Jones got they the pass. He just got so many options. Again in the corner, turnover. Jones again underneath. <laughs> Two in a row from Drew, Drew Joyce to Corey Jones. Open up a 10 point lead for St. Vincent St. Mary. Falcons call a timeout and uh, why don't you get a reading here for our sponsor while we have the opportunity. Tonight's game brought to you by Deichler Tire Center in South Amherst. Serving our automotive community since 1953. Deichler Tire Center just east of Baumhart Road on 113 in South Amherst. 986-9701. All right, back to the uh, action here. 238 remaining in the first quarter. Firelands Falcons down by 10 points, 13 to three, St. Vincent, St. Mary lead. LeBron James with three points, two blocks and two rebounds early on. Uh, the Falcons really having trouble working with the press. The key to the St. Vincent press is to get the player trapped in the corner and bring a man over to the middle 
And really, Ron Higgins, a great player, he doesn't have that ball handling ability to have to bring the ball up for Firelands. And there he is in the middle again. Gets past him this time. Over the pie craft, and it's good. Found the bottom of the net. 13 5 now, Irish lead. Drew Joyce looking to slow it up. Get St. Vincent's a good shot. Pull up jumper just inside a three point line off the back of the backboard out of bounds. Mike Shamlin checking in for Firelands. It's really going to be a key here. It's uh, probably Shamlin and Pycraft, the two most, you might say, overall athletic players with the combination of quickness and uh, agility, speed, and power to stay in there and just chase LeBron around all night. Um, that's going to be key there. You're probably going to see uh, Brent Pycraft and Mike Shamlin in and out of this game. You see Shamlin there. Notice what Firelands did there on that uh, that press breaker that time is they brought Ron Higgins into the corner instead. Since he's a bigger player, when they bring that guard trap into the corner, he's got more of a view over the court, and he can find the open man a little bit easier. Higgins inside. Blocked by James. Inside, Romeo Travis reverse, no good. Drew open Joyce three. for three. Drew Joyce, no good. Trying to grab a board in the pelt. Romeo Travis grabbed it and put it off the glass. Fireland's got to find a way to get them defensive rebounds to stop letting and Akers and St. Mary get second shots. Took a shot and there's going to be a. He's going to have to take a seat for a second. He's holding Jordan his arm. Uh, checking in. Holding his arm there. The trainer comes over to look, take a look at him. I didn't quite see what actually could have happened there to Ron. Uh, but I hope he's okay. Really uh, scuffing for the rebound there. He's trying to get a tip, and it looks like he took a shot from, uh, I thought it was number 34 from St. Vincent for St. Mary's, uh, Sean Cotton. And really for the Falcons to win, they need about uh, 45 points from Higgins and 40, another 45 from Alferio. Well, here's their time right here to try to cut this lead down. LeBron James taking a seat towards the end of the first period. Firelands got to take advantage while he's out of the ball game. Falcons really not even getting a chance to put up many shots. As Drew Joyce inside to Romeo Travis for the easy two-point bucket. 12 you, point same I mean, same they can only lead. get it past half court 50% of the time. It's going to be a rough night. Open jumper for Shamblin. No good. And that's what uh, St. Vincent St. Mary's will do to you. We've seen a few times where Firelands has been able to get second shot offensive rebound opportunities. It's Cotton who must have stepped out of bounds there after the head fake. Big Ron Higgins come getting ready to check back into the ball game. Alfirio gets it into Bourne. Shamblin, great athletic play to hustle that board or that ball down rather. Back to the pass the off and short, no good. Hopper. Got his own rebound. Put, Put it back in. in. Obviously, the Falcons just excited whenever they can get some points here. Uh, got it to within 10. If they can keep it within that, I uh, guess anything can happen. Though it's going to take uh, nothing short of a miracle here. Joyce for three off the back of the rim, no good. Romeo Travis inside, left hand. Ball tipped in. I believe by number 21, Jeremy Johnson. Hoffbecker, they got a two on one here. Pulls off with the shot, no good. If only they could, uh, if only the Falcons could alley oop it there in that situation. Uh, <laughs> it's nice to have that ability on your team. That's the end of the first quarter, 19-17 uh, so far. St. Vincent St. Mary leading over Firelands. Game tonight brought to you by Dykstra Tire Center in South Amherst. Um, rough first quarter for the Falcons. Uh, just trying to get adjusted to what's going on. Um, trying not to get embarrassed here. Uh, they did more, quite uh, frankly, honestly, than I thought they'd be able to do. And uh, try and go into the second quarter, looking at it, it's like say, hey, we got on the, got, we were able to get some points in, 
to find a way to break their press and get some more. They're going to have to hit jumpers here. They're not going to be able to take it to the hoop with guys like LeBron James and Romeo Travis clogging up the middle. They're going to have to knock down some threes, some jump shots. Look for Jacob Alferi to put the ball on more here in the second period. Well, we know our boys uh, had the opportunity and have the ability to hit them threes when they get them open. Jacob Alferio, some certain points this year, really been on fire from three-point land. Fireland's, like Andy said before, the only pretty much problems they've had are getting offensive rebounds, which is pretty much uh, impossible with Big James and Travis inside. But breaking that press has seemed to be uh, the thing they need to do the most. Eckert St. Vincent St. Mary has got the majority of their points off of steals from that press. And Fireland's, I think, could be a little bit closer in this ballgame if they find a way to break it. Alfira receives the inbound pass from Hoffecker. Born inside, took it himself. Get swatted. Swatted out of bounds by Jeremy Johnson. Alfira to inbound on the baseline. Fireland's miscommunication there. Alfira fake on a three again. Looking for that long ball. Into Higgins. So he drew a foul on a uh, big uh, Romeo Travis. It'll be Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's fifth foul to Fireland's first one, actually. Oh, excuse me, that's Jeremy Johnson. He's had so many big guys out there. We're used to just being able to look out there for the tallest guy and say Ron Higgins. It's Alfredo for the three, long, no good. Rebound, LeBron James. Head of the court, stolen back Taking by Alfredo. Now looking to push. Up top, Higgins. The Higgins. Oh, the giant. Fireland's trying a little bit of trickery of their own here. A little bit of a frustration foul there by Jacob Alfirio. Well, it looks like uh, Ron <laughs> Higgins ate his lucky charms uh, trying to pull some kind of the luck of the Irish there on uh, not being able to slam it home. Pycraft checking back into the ball game for Jacob Alfirio. Why not give that alley-oop a shot there? <laughs> uh, you don't want to get into a dunk contest with St. Vincent St. Mary's. Romeo Travis. Now to James back inside of Travis, and he got the roll. There's Higgins in the corner looking to throw it to someone. Like I said before, that's what Fireland's looking to do here is bring Higgins down in the corner because he can see over the court a lot better than any of the other players. Nice deal there. Johnson tried tiptoe on the line there to keep it in bounds. No go. Matt Hassel going to check in here. Hoffegger taking a seat. I believe he had two points there in the first quarter. Pivecraft looking to inbound. Got it to Hassel. Hassel over the Higgins. Fireland's got both their posts up top, looking to handle the ball. <laughs> Higgins not doing too bad of a job. Got it to Bourne up top of the key. Working on Mraz. Crossover nearly had it taken away. Now Shamblin. Pass on the corner. Off Dribbled it off foot. his foot out of bounds. Akron, same in St. Mary basketball. 21-7 lead for the Irish. <laughs> Over to LeBron James, just touches it, passes it back, spins around. Matt Hassel, got picked off by Romeo Travis. Travis inside over Ron Higgins. James. No good, push off on LeBron James. Correction, believe that foul's oh. gonna be on Hassel, and it is. I thought maybe James might have pushed off there. Raz the inbound on the baseline. Way up top Throwing to James. it up to LeBron James. Uh, James no Elliott good. to Higgins Johnson. Pulls no. on the board. Chamblee need to get that ball across half court. Does to Bourne. Players need to get set up here. Bourne, Bourne pull up puts Jay. it up. No, no good. good. Rebound Johnson. Up to LeBron Wee. James, touch pass, misses the dunk. Romeo Travis went for a little showboat dunk. Off the back of the rim, no good. Good thing LeBron James is there for the offensive rebound and the putback. Shamlin open jumper on the bottom of your screen, hits it. 23 to nine, Irish lead. 
Brian James with five points. Brandon Weems, three in the corner. No in front good. Of the rim, no good. Got his own board. Couldn't Johnson handle underneath. it. Foul on Higgins. In the 6'8", senior will be headed to the free throw line for two. So Ron Higgins' first foul. Obviously, you don't want him to foul trouble in this game. First shot off the back of the rim, no good. Checking in for the Irish, number 20, Willie McGee. And back in, number 12, Drew Joyce. And number five, Chad Mraz. Alfieri will come back in for the Falcons as Shamwell takes a seat. One more shot to line for Johnson. This one short as well. Ferio with the board. Alfieri double team got it to Bourne. Higgins has got some room to push it up. Highcraft doubled in the corner, got it back to Higgins. Gets up in the air. <laughs> And I guess Whoa. he trailed with the basketball. As Siku Lewis checks back in for the Irish. Well, I didn't like that call. Uh, obviously, Falcon fans didn't like it. It seemed like a great idea to get him the airs. LeBron James would have loved to swat that one out of the arena. Joyce up top looking. Rolls around a screen from Siku Lewis. Ball thrown off of Bourne's leg. Picked Falcons again in that 2-3 zone. Kick back out. Lewis, runner inside, doesn't get the roll. He'll be heading to the free throw line. Now Firelands quickly moves up out, fouling uh, St. Vincent St. Mary. I would like to see the ref uh, maybe look for some three seconds calls. Uh, LeBron James hanging around the post, looking for some offensive boards. Uh, he has that height advantage and leaping ability to get a bunch of them here tonight. So far with five points, three blocks, three rebounds for LeBron James here on WGCC Channel 12. Alfirio looking to push up against that backcourt pressure. Inside Pycraft. Pycraft. Trying to figure out what to do. Born for three. No good. Alfiero getting in for the rebound. Can't pull it down. Here comes LeBron James. Pull up jumper. No good. Nice wow. crash and rebound there by Siku Lewis. What do you do? Seems like anytime any player for the Irish misses a shot, one of the other players is right there for the offensive tip. It's been that way all night. 27 Higgins with to nine. the ball, pulls up for the short jumper. It's good. Higgins finds it just inside the free throw line. I believe that's their uh, first points here in the second quarter. Stolen away by Alfirio. Alfirio gets the steal and wisely pulls back. Now second steal for Alfirio. Sorry to cut you off there. Here comes James. Big oh. time! Rolling thunder, LeBron James. LeBron James took the pass from half court. Sky just inside the three-point line for the right-hand flush. And that is Mr. James. High grab <laughs> shot short out of bounds. Obviously, LeBron James had NBA Jam Tournament Edition when he was a youngster. <laughs> Wow. And that'll uh, take the wind out of you as they're uh, Fireland struggling to get a basket here all period. LeBron James just easily skies off. Siku Lewis inside off the jump stop, puts it up and in. And just like that, it's a 20 point St. Vincent St. Mary's lead. And this is the point where uh, Falcons could begin to lose their confidence. Higgins took the pass from Pycraft. Little floater find the bottom of the net. Uh, what you don't want to see here is the Falcons just give up. And uh, I don't think Coach Lias will let them do that. They're down by, uh, I believe, 18. 
And come on, where's the three seconds call? Doesn't even seem like the refs are looking for that. Number 44, Matt Schultz checking in for Brent Highcraft. Uh, LeBron James is a future star, but obviously uh, doesn't deserve special treatment by the referees. Uh, let's say, take a count here next time he gets in the paint. So uh, freshman Matt Schultz checks in, banging around with LeBron James. It's one, two, three, four. Can you explain? Is that the three seconds if he has the ball or? Well, it's supposed to be the three second doesn't restart until the shot goes up. So whether he's got the ball or not, he was standing in there for three seconds before he got the pass. Yeah, but then he took his shot up, got fouled by Schultz, the basket counts, and he'll be heading the free throw line for one more. Nice to see the freshman Matt Schultz check in the game, uh, really the future of the Falcon program. Three pointer in the corner by Drew Joyce, splashes it home. As I was saying, uh, as LeBron James skies up above Schultz. Uh, Matt Schultz, the younger brother of senior Mike Schultz, also on the team. Uh, Mike Schultz uh, takes credit for mentoring his brother throughout the years. Three-pointer by Mraz, no good. Rebound, Schultz. Alfirio, double-teamed again. Higgins with the ball. Just Stolen away by Travis. Here comes LeBron James again. LeBron James putting the who's on board. And it's in and good. Little baby jumper's good. Nine points for LeBron James. Timeout, Firelands. Tonight's game brought to you by Deutschler Tires in South Amherst, serving the auto automotive community since 1953. Deutschler Tires, 986-9701. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30, Saturday, 8 to 1. Give them a call. They'll take care of you. That's Dykesler Tires. East of Bob Hart Road at 113 in South Amherst. Fireland's hung around there for a while. Headed down to about a 10-point saving St. Mary lead. Now it's 25, 38 to 13 with 120 left to go until halftime. Obviously, uh, the Falcons overmatched. Uh, they don't have the athletic ability just to keep up with St. Vincent, St. Mary's. Everyone here to see LeBron James, uh, only nine points, but a spe spectacular dunk just under the free throw line. He took off there in the fast break, slammed it down. It was uh, quite thrilling, if you will. That looks and, to me like uh, pretty much a turnaround. When LeBron James took that one home, uh, it kind of really started to open up that lead. Now it's 25, like I said before. Uh, Ron Higgins with seven points here for the Falcons. Uh, really the only bright spot. They have trouble uh, getting the ball up the court. Looks like the rest of the to go uh, with LeBron James taking a seat. Uh, I'm unsure if we're going to see him the rest of the game if he's unneeded. Coach Joyce certainly does not want him to... Uh, Get injured when he doesn't need to be in the ball game. Higgins Either. inside. Held by Sean Cotton. Alfiero on the baseline looking to inbound. Got it in, born in the corner, double team. Ball it's gonna knocked be a turnover. Mraz the length of the floor. Followed by Schultz. Good to see the uh, youngster really hustle back on defense and make that play. That's right, uh, Matt Schultz, the uh, freshman, picks up his second foul. And uh, it's really the future of Fireland sports in general. Uh, great all around athlete is a uh, number one sport being baseball. He's been clocked at over 80 miles an hour in his fastball. It's like I said, only a freshman. A lot of future ahead of him. Mraz hits both free throws. Under a minute now left to play in the first half. I'd like to see uh, St. Vincent uh, give us a break on the press here. Under a minute remaining in the half. It's another steal and it's starting to get ugly. <laughs> 
Like I said, it's getting ugly, and I haven't seen anything this ugly since my last date. And, uh... Siku Lewis going to be out of the free throw line for two. Fall on Higgins, his second of the ball game. Just give, you, give yourself a little more credit than that, Andy. <laughs> oh, it was bad. James checking back in for Cotton. Lewis splits the pair. Here comes James. Twenty-seven seconds remaining here in the first half. Forty-one to thirteen. Saint Irish Vincent. probably looking to work it around for the last shot. Oh, there's LeBron James. Seems like every time I say something, the opposite happens. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was in the game. I thought he was on the bench. Ball was away from the basketball. Called on Hassel. Firearms in the penalty. Romeo Travis to the line, shooting one and one. Shot off from the rim, no good. Rebound, Siku Lewis. Got it back. Off and the it's glass just and not fair. Bourne threads the needle to Hassel. Hassel afraid to go up. I don't blame him. James pulls out another board. Full court attempt, no good. That ends the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets of High School has entered the host of Division 2 section of tournament this evening. We ask your cooperation by keeping all four of the privileges on the main concourse. We're getting set here for the halftime festivities here at Barberton. I'd like to recap the first half of action here. Fireland's down so far, 43 to 13 after the first half of action. Andy, why don't you give us a little bit of stats? All right, uh, LeBron James with nine points, three blocks and four rebounds, and a spectacular dunk. They really took the wind out of the Falcons. For uh, Falcons, Reinickers with seven points, one block and two rebounds, and really what's been a, a blowout of a game that's not uh, trying to uh, sugar it up and uh sorry about the unnecessary close-up <laughs> a little cramp for space up here and uh it's been the most exciting thing i've seen even though it's a lopsided game and what are your thoughts on this paul well like he said before all, all night we've been talking about how exciting this game is for a community like firelands to be able to come out here to akron barberton and play against somebody like lebron james with his superstar status bunch of crowd support shown here and you really gotta love the effort and the heart shown by all the boys here playing tonight like we were talking about earlier on in this broadcast Fireland's found most of their problems in this game from the Akron St. Vincent St. Mary press in the backcourt in that corner trap most of their points have come off of steals and free throws from the uh, stressful fouls from Fireland's LeBron James had that dunk that pretty much sunk the heart of the team and really opened up this lead for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary and uh, really the only thing in the second half is, I don't hate to say it, but people just want to know if LeBron James is going to play the rest of the game and put on a show. Um, There's no reason not to say that most of the fans are here because of LeBron James. They want to see the future uh, NBA star. They want to see some dunks. They want to see some great action. Well, this is a chance of a lifetime for anybody, any fan here, any coach, any player here, to be able to be in a situation like this. So uh, we're going to take a little break here. We'll be back with the second half of action in just a little bit. Back here on WGCC Channel 12 at Barbert and High School in Akron. First half, uh, St. Vincent St. Mary leading Firelands 43 to 13 in this uh, Division II sectional tournament action brought to you by Deutschler Tire Center in South Amherst. And uh, before we get too serious here, <laughs> on a personal note, if uh, Mr. Lies is watching this tape later on. Uh, plus, you know, I enjoyed the courtesy booth. You'd be proud of me. I got bad looks for how many cookies I took. They told me, hey, these are for other people too, but I got four more in my pockets when they weren't looking. I'm going to enjoy those the rest of the game. I'll tell you what, oatmeal raisins probably my favorite cookie, and they make a mean one at that. And speaking of a mean one, LeBron James really uh, slammed down a nasty dunk in the beginning of the second quarter, I believe, and... Uh, is he on the court? Yes, he is on the court. And that's what I, 
The fans want to see him. Pull up three. Drew Joy starting the second half off with a triple. Now a 33 point lead. Byron's moving the ball up court. Alfirio splits the defense. Ooh. Threw it out of bounds, trying to look for the cutting Matt Hassel. A steady up. Took out my colleague's sister with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get out of the way, sis. <laughs> Mraz in the corner. James, free throw line. Jordan Light, step back, fade away, jumper. Extends the lead by two more, and Ron Higgins travels with the basketball again. They were so excited when they finally got to play against LeBron James that the whole community used to. It's fairly not near. Uh, we sure hope this one doesn't get too bad. Um, it's nice and dusty. That's the biggest thing. Another three. Drew Choice rattles home another quick three. Now a 38-point Akron St. Vincent St. Mary lead. Ooh. It's just going to get worse here as LeBron James with the ball behind the back. Showtime. Siku Lewis couldn't put it down, but he'll be heading to the free throw stripe for two. And he could make it a 40-point ball game. Coach Lias calls a timeout. Tonight's action brought to you by Deutscher Tire Center in South Amherst, serving your automotive community since 1953. 9869701, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30, Saturday, 8 to 1. Deutscher Tire Center, just east of Baumhart Road, on 113 in South Amherst. You think LeBron James uh, goes with Deutscher Tires? Well, I'm sure uh, Dykstra's Tire Center would love to have him uh, come in and they can work on his car. I'm sure if uh, seriously if LeBron James lived in South Amherst, uh, he had no problem going there. <laughs> I know they helped me out when I had a flat tire this year, and I appreciated that. <laughs> Lewis now at the free throw line. First shot off the front of the rim, no good. Irish really struggling from the free throw stripe hitter night. If they were hitting a little bit more, this one could be, uh, well, it can't get, <laughs> as he hits the second, it can't get much more ugly than uh, 39 points. Ball poked away by James. LeBron James. Nice pass by Siku Lewis, got it to James. Fireland's working against that press again. Bourne now kicks corner to Pycraft. Swings it up top of the key. Higgins pull up jumper, no good. Hassel, nice offensive board. Now the Irish are going to slow things down. And uh, it looks like around. the Irish are just having fun right now. Really uh, cleaning the bones off the turkey, if you will. Oh, alley -oop Unbelievable. pass from Drew Joyce to LeBron James. And look at the look on some of the fans' face. Uh, pick your tongue up off the floor, people. Born out. Out to Alfirio. Fake on a long three. In case you're wondering, that's LeBron James' 13th points. I believe that's 15 points. Fifth, oh, must have missed one when I was having those free cookies. Step back jumper by Born, no good. Here's James now. Nice pass inside for Romeo Travis. Like we said before, big LeBron James can pass the basketball. Tied with Jacob Alfieri with 6.1 assists per game. And that leads any players here in this tournament. Bourne's first foul there. Right now, 43-point lead for St. Vincent St. Mary. Another alley-oop attempt. Siku Lewis brought it down and put it back up. They just settled for the layup there. Yeah. I'm sure they're disappointed. 
I can't even do the math here. What's the uh, lead now? That's a 45 point lead. That one's not too hard to figure out. <laughs> I am getting a C in advanced math for those of you that have been following my grades all year long. Uh, <laughs> Chad Mraz is first foul in the evening. Jacob Alfiro inbound underneath their own basket. Jeremy Johnson checking back into the contest. Now Alfiro to inbound in the corner to Piecraft. Nearly stolen away. Oh, oh they had James. They had James Cherry. Why did pick the ref call that? Court. You know the ref wants to see the dunk. <laughs> I really want to know what he would have done with that one. He had all day he was wide open. Born up top of the key. Got it to Alferio, guarded by James. Inside, around the back pass, Higgins. Head fake, draws the foul off the glass, and good. Butterland starting their comeback right now with 440 left to go in a third period. I have no the line comment on that up. It's really nice, nice for us up here in the booth to have that jumbotron in the replays. We get good angles on some of the plays that we can't see from up here. Oh yes, this isn't the first time Ron Higgins is up. Went up against LeBron James. He played against him in AAU basketball. James, nice sweet dish side. Jeremy Johnson with a one-handed slam. It's kind of like when the Lakers play the Cavs. <laughs> Hassel got it to Alfirio inside. Pull up jumper, got the roll. <laughs> Cutting this lead to 42 with about four minutes left to play. Drew Joyce, never thought I'd offense. hear you say that. <laughs> Ball knocked away, picked up. Here comes Jared Bourne, slam it home. Bourne fouled on the fast break. He'll be headed to the free throw line. Thought Jer was going to get up and cram that one. Bourne hits the first free throw. Number three, Corey Jones, checking back in. As well as number 33, Preston Sims, getting his first action of the ball game. Born now, hitting the second. Drew Joyce pushing up across the timeline of the forecourt. Maybe they should try a different type of zone, Paul. Three point bucket by Corey Jones. Anybody coming to watch one of these games, you really don't want to put the whole uh, repertoire in LeBron James's hands. A nice drive there by Jacob Alfurio. <laughs> this Akron St. Vincent St. Mary team has, as you've seen tonight, seven, eight players who play their roles and play their roles effectively, coming off the bench, really helping out this squad. LeBron James staying in, maybe looking to up his stats or uh, pull on a three, found the bottom of the net. I believe that's his 18th point. How do you like it as a coach to have a six foot seven big man who can splash the three like that? Ball knocked away, uh oh. Uh oh. What's he going to do? And I bet the announcer is sick of saying LeBron James' name <laughs> here tonight. Nice move by Hassel inside. Couldn't get the bucket, but he'll be heading to the free throw stripe. Here's 
Hassel's first shot, long off the back of the rim, no good. 2.20 left to play here in the third period at Akron Barberton High School, WGCC Channel 12. Tonight's action brought to you by Deutschler Tire Center in South Amherst. LeBron James taking a seat, and number 14, Jamie Cavalier checking in. And that's respect as all the fans uh, show why they came here, giving LeBron James a standing ovation. Corey Jones in the corner, guarded by Alfirio. Johnson kick for... Now they bring it back up top, Drew Joyce. Cavalier in the corner, three no good. Push foul on Alfirio. Seventy to twenty-four. St. Vincent, St. Mary's lead. Now Cavalier at the free throw stripe. Hits the first and have two more coming. Second is no good. Brandon Weems checking back in for the Irish and Mike Shamlin for Firelands. Really, uh, this is capping off one of the most exciting weeks in uh, Firelands in a long time. Uh, not, I mean, realistically, not many people expected us to come in here and win or even play well. And uh, obviously, you know, we're not standing a chance here against the athleticism of St. Vincent St. Mary's, but nonetheless, still great for Firelands to be here. Is, uh, the Falcons aren't quitting even though they have an insurmountable lead. Higgins head to the free throw line to shoot one as his shot was good. Cotton looking to check back in for the Irish. Higgins hits the free throw. Once in a lifetime opportunity here for uh, all the Falcon players on the court and for us too. Uh, I'm glad to be here with you, Paul Nixon, on WGCC Channel 12, Wellington TV. I'd like to thank Wellington TV, especially Mark Baker, for your sending us up here on the long uh, ride. Also, like to thank both our cameramen tonight. Uh, Bob Schlin Baker's got the duties on the floor with the roaming camera. And Matt Collins up here with the, in the booth with us. Also like to thank uh, Coach Elias and uh, Coach Cadella for all the support they've given us during the season, helping us out, getting us on the bus here today so we could uh, avoid the long drive. Ball knocked around. <laughs> Preston Sims takes the length of the floor off the glass and in. Timeout called by Cavalier. Oh, and with about uh, 58 seconds to go in a third I'd period. I'd have to say that's unnecessary. Good athletic play, though, to be able to grab the ball in the air and call the timeout. I don't know. I, my, me, myself, being a great athlete. <laughs> hey. Oh. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, me, myself, being a great athlete, I don't really condone it. I would call that a dirty play. I'll go out on a limb. That's a dirty play. Like we were saying before, it's a great opportunity for Firelands to come down here and be able to play Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. But my take on it is, it's really unfortunate that their uh, tournament hopes and their season has to end in a game like this. It's really, I guess, a catch-22, if you will. Or if uh, those of you that are in English 4 and have read Dante's Inferno, I believe there's, what, nine stages of hell or seven <laughs> stages? And I believe Firelands are seeing all of them here tonight <laughs> as they can do nothing. Cotton's three, no good. Offense rebound by Sims, and the putback is uh, good. I believe Mrs. Callahan will like that reference. Illusion, if you will. <laughs> as there she goes walking out the door. Alfirio in the lane, left hand blocked. 
Warren hustles in for the jump ball. Willie McGee checking back in for the Irish. Alfredo to inbound, got it in the corner, Shamblin. Up top, Bourne. Under 13 now to go in the third quarter. Fire Emblem's looking to get that last shot. Shamblin in the corner. Shoot it. Put it up, Hassel. Had it blocked it. away, Bourne inside. That's the end of the third quarter. The score after St. Vincent, St. Mary 78, Clarelands 27. 51 point lead. All of tonight's action brought to you by Deitzer Tire Center in Amherst. It's 986 9701. Anytime on Monday through Friday from 8 to 5.30 and on Saturday, 8 to 1. That's Deitzer Tire Center in South Amherst. Yes! Well, we got a second here. I'd like to say a little bit about how Firelands got into this game. Monday the 25th, they played Highland in 175 to 61. Ron Higgins led the crew with a career high 37 points. Jared Bourne and Jacob Alferio chipped in with 11 each. Pycraft nine, Hassel four, and Shamlin five. Fireland shot 63% from the field, going 29 of 46. Last uh, quarter of action here. Now, if uh, St. Vincent St. Mary's gets the 100 points, do we get a free Chalupa? I wouldn't mind a Chalupa. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound inside. Also no good, pulled down by Higgins. Alfero up top. Spin move in the lane, pull up, jumper found the bottom of the net. Possession of Firelands. What just happened there on the turnover? Lead number one, Brandon Weems, uh, before he passed the ball and he might have stepped over the line. Well, I mean, it's hard when you got, these are big guys, they got large feet, and uh, they just don't give them <laughs> enough room there out of bounds. It's not his fault. Born now, looking inside, Hoffecker. Alfredo inside to Higgins, took it up strong off the glass, got his own offensive rebound for the footback. Now it's a 47 point after St. Vincent St. Mary lead. Cavalier in the corner hits the three. The 50 Irish, point lead here. Irish, good, good math there, Andy. Irish looking to pour it on here towards the end. Looks like uh, senior Mike Schultz is going to check in at the next dead ball. Fast break opportunity. Preston Sims up ahead of everybody for the two point bucket. And now Bourne will push across the timeline. Alferio pull for three. Long, no good. Knocked out of bounds. Possession stays with Firelands as Mike Schultz does check in the ball game. As well as number 13, Josh Cavalier. And number 22, Frankie Walker for the Irish. Schultz checks in, a Falcon fan favorite. Matt Schultz now checking in, so the brother-brother combination will be in for the rest of the game for Firelands. Well, maybe they'll have the chemistry needed to overcome this 50-some uh, point deficit. 52-point lead. <laughs> Jeremy Johnson checking back in. Hey, stranger things have happened, right? 52-point lead, um, six, no. six minutes to go. <laughs> Well, I believe Danny Ferry did get into the slam dunk contest one year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Anyways, as I was saying with the Schultz brothers, LCC <laughs> track champion in the mile, Mike Schultz, cross country champion two years straight. As the season comes to an end today, uh, Mike Schultz gonna turn it on for the track season, looking to repeat in the mile. Hoffecker will be shooting two here. Littleton will have to wait till the second free throw to check in. First free throw, no good. <laughs> 83 to 31, St. Vincent, St. Mary lead. Johnson Jump. pull up jumper and he hit it. And now Dan Littleton will get his chance to check into the ball game. And really, uh, Unbelievable, the talent we're seeing here. Uh, I'm a big basketball fan, I've seen a lot of games. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, all on one team, it's rare to see that in high school. Uh, I'm quite wondering how they got all these guys. Well, nonetheless, that's why they are a two-time defending uh, state champions. Walker up top. And that's not a Walker, Texas Ranger, for those of you that are confused. Jeremy Johnson missing the slam. Now Schultz with the basketball. Schultz with the ball. Ron Higgins, long jumper off the front of the rim, no good. <laughs> Higgins trying to take a flop there. Well, he must be hungry trying to get that free whopper. Length of the floor, Frankie Walker. Well, at least they're not pressing anymore. Right now, it's a 56-point lead for the Irish. Schultz to Schultz. It's got to be fun for brothers to be able to play together like that. Um, I don't know. I know quite well, and they have quite a family rivalry going on <laughs> to see who can collect the most uh, hardware in the sports <laughs> department. Alfredo check it back in for Schultz as brother Matt at the free throw line. It's the first free throw. And hits the second. 54 point lead for the Irish. Uh, fans starting to leave the arena here. Shot by Cavalier, no good. Alfirio off the glass, count the basket. He'll have one more coming. Funny story, uh, I talked to Alferio before the game and uh, he received the call from Sports Illustrated last night and uh, thinking they were gonna ask him about the upcoming game with the St. Vincent St. Mary's LeBron James. Turns out they just wanted to know if he was gonna renew his subscription. <laughs> and if you want the New England Patriots uh, souvenir commemorative Super Bowl magazine. <laughs> Jeremy Johnson taking a seat for the Irish. LeBron James standing, is he going to check back in? No, just looking to get a seat next to the coach. Rebound, Sims. Higgins stole it away off the glass for two. Cavalier up top, McGee. Back to Cavalier for three, no good. Rebound inside by Frankie Walker. He took it up against three defenders, got the bucket, and one more from the stripe. Brandon Weems checking back in for St. Vincent.
Can't complete the three-point play. Ball corralled by Jared Bourne. Alfirio across the timeline into the forecourt. Dribble drive, move inside. And he got fouled. Uh, same with the same area. Now they can look forward to the next round of the tournament action here. Uh, they go on to a third straight state championship. Uh, adds their collection of trophies. And uh, eventually a great career for uh, LeBron James if he can keep it up. Not quite sure yet if he's going to, uh, after a senior year, move to the college level or go straight to the NBA. Whichever one he chooses, I'm sure he'll be highly successful. Well renowned around the world in high school basketball. I have never seen a, this type of publicity for a high school player. I mean, the last guy, that, the last most successful one was Kobe Bryant coming out. Um, he didn't get this type of uh, press, maybe because of players like him, this is the reason everyone looking to LeBron, seeing the success he's had in the NBA. Um, still early on, I mean, you could say he's the next Michael Jordan, and obviously displaying that he's a very talented individual, but it's really a matter of time, and only time will tell. Sim shot counted. Now he'll try to make it another three-point play for the Irish. Most of the fans here trying to get out to avoid the rush. And he converts 94-39. Once again, tonight's action brought to you by Dykstra's Tires in South Amherst. Bringing you all your automotive needs since 1953. Deitzler Tire Center, just east of Baumhart Road in South Amherst. Fireland's foul number 40, Will Dodd, his second. Brandon Weems is the line, shooting two. Well, most likely, uh, St. Vincent St. Mary with 247 left will get to 100 points. And I haven't seen a high school game in person go to 100 points for a while. That's all right. Uh, obviously, with a ton of firepower, LeBron James pouring in 20 points in uh, limited minutes. Not the only one who can put points on the board for St. Vincent St. Mary's. All the Irish players really have a hand in this lead. That's right, and uh, it must be awkward with all the players on the team uh, to play in that shadow. At the same time, uh, they're probably not complaining that much either. Well, LeBron's really a great kid. Sound like he's some kind of, uh, some superstar head case player who really wants to do everything himself. He gets everybody else involved in the game. And really, that's the reason uh, he's had the success he's had and got the attention. Uh, I recently read an article that one of the things they're most impressed with this is uh, willingness to give up the ball to his teammates. And if you're going to take your game to the next level, you know, the next level is not going to be uh, just a cakewalk for LeBron. It's going to be playing against competition as tough as him. He recently put in his career high 43 points against Detroit. Vince Campbell hits another three. And puts the Irish up 101 to 39. And the fans love that. Can LeBron James going over to the No. I don't know what LeBron James is doing over there on the bench. Quite frankly, he can do whatever he wants. As I was saying before, during the season, he averaged 29.1 points per game, 8.3 rebounds a game, and 6.1 assists per game. So he has an all-around game that's uh, really got him ready for the next level. Bourne hits the first free throw. <laughs> 
Just about two minutes left to play in the ball game. 101 to 40, 61 point St. Vincent St. Mary lead. Bourne rattles home the second free throw. Nice pass there from Brandon Weems inside to Preston Sims. Stop the bleeding, please. And uh, maybe the Falcons upset them somehow, insulting them or something, because they will not give up with the press. Trying to go over the backboard. Really a frustration foul there by Firelands. Cavalier hits the first free throw. I'd like to give a little uh, season wrap up here on Firelands. Regular season record, they finished 10 and 10, 5 and 9 in their Lorraine County Conference. Tournament play, they'll finish 1 and 1, making them 11 and 11 overall this season. It's really an up and down year and a, a conference that was really uh, wide open as far as uh, teams being almost equal to each other in terms of talent. It seemed like each team went up against, each team had one key player and a good supporting group of role players. And uh, every week someone would come into Falcon Arena that was uh, the big gun and would light it up. And uh, really Falcons splitting the pair with a quick couple teams in the conference. And uh, ended up being 500 here on the season. Hopefully they can take what they uh, experience here in the tournament, seeing what's like the playing really a big time pressure situation. It can motivate them, work out hard in the offseason. The three core players being uh, Higgins, Alferio, and Bourne returning, along with we said freshman Matt Schultz next year. And they'll still be in the thick of things in the Lorraine County Conference. Firelands had uh, three overtime games this season. They also lost, I believe, five games by two or less points. Alferio hits a three there. So Firelands really not getting blown out at all this season. Just had some tough games that they uh, couldn't right. pull out in the end. If those could have went the other way, who knows what kind of momentum they could have carried. Uh, really just uh, some bad what luck, if you will. Just under a minute now left to go, 105-45. Sims inside off the glass. <laughs> St. Vincent St. Mary's still playing tough pressure defense. Bourne got it to Higgins. Just inside the three-point line, no good. Follow beyond Cavalier. And Jonah Varner will be at the line. Shooting two. Two shots. St. Vincent St. Mary's season record was 15 and three. With this victory, they'll move to 15, 16 and three overall. And most likely, like we said before, go back and win their third straight state championship. As that core you were talking about before, Higgins Alferium Bourne takes a seat for the final time this season. Shot inside by Cavalier, no good. Rebound, Jonah Varner. Finals are going to close out the ball game here. Hoffegger shot, no good. Now St. Mary will push. <laughs> with under 10 left to go. Hassel got the steal. Please, nobody foul. Piecraft fires. Long, no good. And that's the end of the ball game. The final score, Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary, 107. Your Firelands Falcons, 47. One experience here uh, for myself. 
As I was saying, a uh, great experience here tonight uh, to see LeBron James in action. And, uh, I'd have to say I believe the hype. Uh, this kid appears to be that good. Uh, really exciting the crowd with a nice dunk in the first half, slamming down the alley-oop in the second half. Really, uh, the Falcons could do nothing here against this uh, great athletic St. Vincent St. Mary team as they lost 107 to 47. As uh, St. Vincent St. Mary looks to go on for the third straight title. And uh, that bout wraps it up here. Yeah, Firelands pretty much all they can do is try their best to keep in this ball game, play hard and uh, try to stay in it the whole time. The boys did just that, played as hard as they could. LeBron James and St. Vincent St. Mary just too much for Firelands as uh, they win this one by 60 points. Like Andy said before, that pretty much wraps it up for here tonight. We'd like to thank everybody uh, really supporting us this season here on WGCC Channel 12. We've had a ball bringing you these great matchups all through the year, and especially this one against Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. Great opportunity for us and everybody else here in attendance to see this ball game. Andy, it's uh, been nice working with you this season. Absolutely. Uh, hope to be back next year if we can, uh, if you guys liked us, uh, Hopefully you did. Hopefully we brought you the action in a respectable manner. I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, for the last time this year, I'm Andrew Halowicki for Paul Nixon signing off.